Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis for S Byzantium. So, uh, we got pu pulled into Great Britain's wars, but we don't really care, we're not participating. France is sieging Spain for us. Um, it's good because they have something to do. I'll unpause now, we'll go down to speed 3. Um, yeah, this army is going to destroy some rebels in Croatia. Right, uh, as I was saying, we have a personal union over France, but they are hostile, they might want to rebel. We are keeping them uh, busy. Oh, and we lost our marriage with Great Britain. Mm, let's get a new one. Recall this diplomat. Actually, we might need to improve some relations with our allies, not the vassals. <coughs> Pardon me. And we want to lose Diplo. No, we don't want to lose Diplo. New royal marriage with Great Britain. Portugal allied Corsica. We don't care. Mm, Commonwealth. Let's improve our relations. First with our personal union subject, France. We would love to get them to a different uh, attitude than hostile. Mm, that's not very likely, but we still have some time and we, as we proved in the war, we are stronger than them. But if the independence was supported, let's say, by Spain, we could be in trouble. Mm, they, they hate each other, but, but still. And they have high prestige, which is weird for a subject. Right, because they're getting it from the battles in Spain. Right, um, did we win the battle against rebels? Yes, so we can now reduce army maintenance. We don't want to lose all our money. Uh, especially because we have uh, a lot of loans that we still need to repay. Sind accepted um, peace with Pomerania. We don't care. We could try to um, separate peace Spain and get some land from them. Mm, but I don't think I really want anything at the moment. Consolidating power is the most important thing. And uh, France should have some claims around here. Well, they do have claims on those two provinces. Actually, I should set all my subjects to aggressive. And uh, they do have claims on those two provinces. So Great Britain might give them those provinces. Um, let's have a look at our technology. Mm, we could actually get the Gust Gustavian infantry next military technology level. We do have the points. Mm, how much is that? Oh, we could build armories everywhere. Plus 35% four years ahead of time. That's not that much. And that will give us bonus military tactics. We are nearing the cap of military power. So let's take that. Increase our military technology cost. And uh, for the next 17 years we're not doing anything with military. Uh, we'll probably be building some basic military buildings when we um, repay all our um, loans. We have nine still. Let's repay one, because we can. Let's have a look at our advisor's prestige. Prestige is good. We don't really need the unrest reduction that much. Well, we could use it, but it's not not that important. Although getting a level 3 advisor might be the good choice. I think I'll wait until we pay off our loans and then I might go to higher level advisors in both uh, administrative and diplomatic technologies. Because we need to finish those idea groups and catch up on technology, finally. Right, um, what was I doing? Right, uh, improving relations with allies. Let's improve relations with the Commonwealth. And a new unit type is available. Which one? Saxon infantry. Oh. Right. Unpausing. Mm, that's actually... Right. Um, I don't think I paid much attention. Mm, have a look. Re-establishing the theme system. Renamed all those provinces. For example, this used to be Edon. Now it's Adrianople. Nice flavor thing. The Commonwealth has a weak air or doesn't have an air. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a weak air, so we don't really care because they're of a different dynasty. Mm, no, besides, we really wouldn't want to try any funny business so soon after finishing the war with France. They would ally each other and crush us. Mm, Curland Norway. Bartering increases. What do we want? Do we want to lose inflation for 100? Wait a minute. Let's pause this. Religious conversion for manpower, yes. 
do we want to gain local autonomy and lose uh, or lose admin we don't want to lose admin we'll take care of the inflation after we have uh, finished the idea groups right Norway do you not have a king you do not have a king your king is relatively young succession war between Commonwealth and Muscovy interesting what is your prestige Commonwealth 86 and Muscovy 11 so if I enter a marriage with Norway it would be a succession war between us and Commonwealth I'm not sure I want to risk that even if they get a union over Norway I would like to get a union over them later and might get in Norway in the process Mm, we'll need to improve relations with Great Britain as well, but mm, we'll do that soon when the diplomat is free. <coughs> we could use more merchants, but I really did have to abandon the trade ideas. Yeah, okay. Not much to see here. Everything is relatively okay. We should annex Syria, but we can spare diplomat to improve relations at the moment, and we are annexing Styria which should be a priority now. Right, let's get back to Spain and see what's going on here. Okay, our subjects are sieging everything. All right, keeps them busy. Oh, is Portugal actually on our, on our side? No. Oh, that's Pomerania. Right. Mm, we can invest in administrative technology soon, but first we need to finish the idea groups. How much more do we need four ideas for more ideas for the religious group and uh, we have this one I don't think we do right so we'll use that to annex our vassals and that to convert everything after that we will just focus on increasing technology and some expansion as well okay max relations with France they're probably still hostile yes they might, it might change later, or they might just declare war on us, we'll see. Trading in wine, good. Stability cost reduction is always nice. Saves you monarch points. Mm, Norway is a nice catch if we could get a personal union over them, but uh, fighting the Commonwealth isn't really any, something I want at the moment. Let's recall the diplomats. Portugal entered the military alliance with uh, something. Right, let's pause for a little while. <coughs> we have three diplomats. Let's improve relations with Great Britain and with Syria. I would like to annex them so that this territory is uh, no longer overseas, distant overseas. Mm, and we are annexing Syria. Croatia should probably come next, but they've been such a good vassal to us. Conquering stuff, converting provinces. Uh, what was I supposed to check? All right, Norway situation. Nothing changed. Succession war between Muscovy and Commonwealth. Muscovy and Commonwealth. It shouldn't it be the other way around? Oh, because Muscovy is allied with them. Blockade. Do I want? Mm, yeah, that's just one province. We're too big to worry about that. Siege of Fez. Mm. Ferdilling. Oh, wonderful. Relations bonus with uh, our vassals and France. That's exactly what we need. Perfect. Oh, and we have peaced out. And uh, France got two provinces. Perfect. France, what's your attitude? Still hostile, but we are at over over 200 relations, actually. So it might flip. I don't know. <coughs> Conversions. Um, Modena. Sure, why not? It would be nice to increase our patriarch authority. <coughs> I chose to um, lower it because I really wanted to get the stability up, um, bonus. Okay, I'm pausing. France, uh, alright, we're still uh, in one war. Yay, they're friendly now. Wonderful. So what we need to do is keep that attitude for 50 years and then start annexing them, which will take another 50 years, probably. Or integrating. Uh, we could hope to integrate them automatically, to inherit them, but we would have to be much, much bigger, like uh, half of Africa as well, to have enough base tax for that to happen. Mm, where's the chances of inheriting? Oh, not possible. We can see the exact chances 
while it is still impossible. Maybe an integration? No. We have to wait uh, many, many years. Okay, we have high manpower. Our money situation is looking all right. Let's repay some loans. Hmm, I could raise war taxes. We have a lot of military power, but our main army maintenance is pretty low. Mm, okay, we can actually increase our missionary strength. This is an important one. Global trade power plus 10% important as well. So now the conversions will be much quicker. 21 days instead of, what, 80? Okay, increasing religious unity and stability. We need to beat Muscovy so we can regain the Defender of the Faith bonus. Oh no, our ruler is female, we can't do that. So let's not bother. Um, we want to fight Muscovy, but uh, for now the most important thing is to just consolidate our power. Mm. How is the annexation of Styria going? Mm, one diplomatic power per month. It's quite slow, but when we get the dip increased diplomatic reputation idea, it will be quicker. It would be nice to get a Diplo Rep advisor as well, but we don't have any available. Yeah, repay loan. I would switch to this to Theologian perhaps, but... Um, do we want to lose stability, lose ducats or lose Diplo? Lose ducats, of course. We'll take another loan, but it's a really minor issue. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, all the time that it's uh, minor, but we are at, uh, what, 20 inflation. Hmm. We'll take care of that later. <coughs> Eight loans. Uh, fleet maintenance is needed for protecting trade. Uh, and the other fleet is mothballed. Oh, can we actually upgrade you? Yes, we can. Let's upgrade the fleet. Oh, and disable, go home at war. We're no longer fighting Spain. So, mm, naval destruction is no longer a threat to us. If Spain and Portugal together have a bigger navy than me, than us. Let's monitor the situation. Still weak air, nothing more. No air. Succession war between Muscovy and Commonwealth. I wonder... If we enter a royal marriage with them, I mean, that would decrease our power, but would it be a succession war between us and Muscovy, maybe, and not Commonwealth? Let's try that. We can always break the royal marriage without a stability drop, because we have... Uh, oh, no, we don't have diplomatic. We have influence, right. Let's do a royal marriage. Why not? We'll see. Let's see what happens now. Succession war. Byzantium and Great Britain. Oh. Well, we are... In the same war, so it's impossible for them to fight us. We'll see. Might, I might even want to improve relations with them. I thought it should be our rival. Do we have any rivals? Spain. But we do have a truce. Conversion successful. Another one. See? Missionary strength bonus. So nice. We could get the ones that uh, decrease tolerance of heretics, but increase missionary strength. Mm, that would make the process quicker, but it would also increase our unrest, because our we still have a lot of provinces that are not our religion. Oh, the French colonies are actually huge. Good thing we did huh, conquer France. Right, to getting back to Europe. Mm. How is this war going? Do you want a separate peace? A white peace, perhaps? Can we get something? Let's sign a white peace. I don't want to be at war anymore. Great Britain will like us a bit less, but they're still friendly. Right, more conversions. I wish you could just set up auto-convert everything, starting with the lowest conversion times. Okay, let's check Norway again. Run match from Syria. Yeah, sure. Mmm... Byzantium and Great Britain. We would have to fight Great Britain for Norway. Well, Great Britain isn't our most important ally. France is the most important. They are a partner, but yeah, we are friendly, so that's something. We will lose the fair dealing bonus, though, so it might... Our good relations might deteriorate. 
Mm, but uh, Commonwealth is the second most important, with Great Britain occupying place number three. Mm, yes, all right. Um, improving relations with vassals. We're almost ready to start annexing Syria, but first we need to get the diplomatic reputation idea. And uh, what else? What? I mean, I know we have so many diplomatic relations. Right, Tripoli. Improved relations with you as well. <coughs> as soon as the diplomatic idea is finished, we'll start annexing everybody. Repay loans. Yes, sure. This is going so slowly. Can we get the Diplorep Advisor now? No. Right, just need to keep repaying loans. Trading, let's see the bonuses. Missionary bonus, prestige bonus for Jerusalem and Rome. More missionary strength. Oh, do you have any policies? No, we didn't finish the idea groups. Mm, cheaper stability, manpower. National manpower modifier plus 25% the theme system. That is wonderful. Oh, I actually misread the bonus when I was uh, taking the decision. I thought it's just a mm, one-time bonus in Constantinople, but it's 25% to everything. That is a lot. We have so many troops. Indulgence, heretics. Yeah, good. Mm, that's temporary. And stability cost reduction. We don't need that at the moment. Right, all is well, but we need more monarch points. Our queen is not too good, and the air is awful. We really need to lose this air. Right, um, should we actually increase the game speed to 4? I think so. Conversion successful. Another one. Great. What is our mission? Convert the people of Asia Minor. I thought it's only those provinces. Oh, Galatia. Is that Asia Minor? Let's go to the region map mode. Mm, doesn't know. Uh, okay, I know it is somewhere in this region, so let's just use the religious map mode. Uh, no. We know which provinces to look at now. And now go to the region map mode. This Eastern Balkans, Bulgarian region. Yes, this is not Asia Minor, definitely. Uh, Middle East, Europe. Mm, those are Asia Minor, right? So, maybe the islands as well? No. Mm. Or is, or is all of this Asia Minor? No, it's all Middle East. Arabian region. Yeah, repay the loans. Uh, middle, oh, damn it. Uh, tax modifier or some money? Tax, tax modifier. Okay, Anatolia, Asia Minor, Middle East. Anatolia, Asia Minor, Anatolia. This is Asia Minor. Anything else? Middle East, Middle East. Syria. And the north? This map mode is not very clear, unfortunately. Right, let's get back to the religious map mode and just continue converting provinces in uh, this region. Maybe this one. More conversion successful. Great. Convert everything. Do you have a free missionary? No. I mean, Cyprus shouldn't be Asia Minor. But we can check that. Just to make sure. Oh, it is! So that's the problem. And we do have a free, free missionary to do it. Everybody's leaving coalitions. But let's pause for a while. We do have diplomats that are not uh, giving us any progress. So let's recall them. Go to the diplom political map mode. Oh, and France has dropped relations. It's and they're hostile again. Yeah, we need to improve constantly. Might even mm, leave a diplomat there permanently. Right, so, should we attack somebody? Maybe Muscovy? Norway? Do you have an heir? Still not yet. Come on, die king. 
Netherlands have left the coalition. Let's see, what if we declared war on Moscow? Who would join? Everybody. Mm. It might actually, might actually be a good idea. Firm, are you fabricating any claims on the Muscovy? Well, you can't see that. But you do, uh, they do have one of your cores. Hmm. Okay, let's recall the diplomat from France. And do we have any... Let's see who our rivals are. I don't think we can rival Muscovy. Oh, we can. Good. Let's rival Muscovy. See if we can get... Uh, no, missions are not ready. Get a general, because we have a free slot. Yeah, a good one. Start fabricating a claim. And some high base tax province that we have at your borders. We could take this one. The Commonwealth doesn't have a claim there. Oh, I did unpause, didn't notice that. Right, start fabricating a claim, and then declare war, when it is fabricating. Oh, they are allied with Norway, I wonder. I didn't see if uh, Norway would answer the call to arms. Oh, it would. Never mind then. Because if we do get uh, the personal union event, that would ruin, uh, that would invalidate it. We can't be at war and form a personal union. Still, Byzantium and Great Britain. Rebel uprising, where? Astrakhan. Magyar and Manik. Mm, Manik is here. Let's give them some autonomy. Magyar is here. Let's give them some autonomy as well. We don't really care. Right, dispute in succession. So, no fighting Muscovy at the moment. Maybe no guy. He's a vassal of Sibir. So, we would fight Sibir. Do you have any allies? Timurids, Chagatai, and John Poor. So, we would basically fight Sibir and Timurids. We don't have the points to expand this way. We could feed Sibir to Perm. Hmm. What about the Mamluks? Oh, you are in the coalition. But it's just you and, what, Pomerania. So we could just as well attack you. Do you have any allies? Hejaz and Darfur. Don't really matter. Hmm. We could feed Syria. Let's see, if we declared war on you, who would answer? Everybody. Holy war. Yeah, let's do that. Let's fight the Mamluks, because why not? <coughs> and uh, about our navy, let's unmothable the navy. We'll send them to blockade the Mamluks shortly. And increase army maintenance. And do some sieging. Okay, let's see. How was Norway affected but, mm, by our declaration of war? Still succession war between Byzantium and Great Britain. I don't think it's possible, since we are in the same war together. Well, well let's not worry about that. We will keep mm, protecting trade. And our forces... Let's just... Distribute them evenly into maybe four armies, or maybe more. Okay, I know what. Let's uh, make one, uh, two big armies with generals, and the rest will be just sieging armies, smaller ones. Okay, we need two thousand troops everywhere, or a little bit more. Okay. I could uh, do it more precisely, but uh, I don't really care that much. Right, so we have 16 sieging armies and uh, two proper ones. They should be more than enough to fight uh, the Mamluks. All right. Mm, and Syria is already taking care of them. Let's just move you guys uh, separately so that you don't suffer attrition. First, you guys go to Alexandria. No automatic transport, just on foot. And a few days later I will send you guys as well. Maybe to Jerusalem. Yeah. Go to Nablus. 
Right, it will take, take them a while. And I was supposed to send the diplomat back to France to keep our relations high. Okay, let's count that. Fair dealing will disappear. Mm, aggressive expansion will disappear. Competing great power tolerated heretics. Mm, yeah, it will be difficult to maintain positive relations with, with France. We will have to mm, count on events and wars in which we'll be together sending them gifts. We could start giving them subsidies. That would keep us our relations high, even if the subsidies were low. But it would cost, make them stronger. Let's try that. Give subsidies. That's 10 relations, I believe. Mm, just the maximum duration. What's the maximum duration on that? 100 years? Oh, more. 400 years. Yeah, forever. Mm, how many ducats a month? We make 50, I think, or 30. Let's do make it uh, maybe two de one and eight. One eight is okay. Let's see how much our relations can improve over time because this is a long term thing. I think we'll need to um, keep sending them indefinitely. Zero point sixteen yearly. Right. Not enough. Let's cancel subsidies and send new ones. You guys are ready to start fighting the Mamluks. One army to fight in Cairo, one just moving that way. Who are your allies? Hejaz. We can actually move into Hejaz now. Mm, maybe I should have made them co-belligerent. Didn't really think about it. Let's see, what's your total war score for annexation? Yeah, that's way too much. We'll just take a province or two from you. It would be nice if we could um, reach Mecca, but that's their capital. So we would have to isolate it first. That means a few wars. Oh, and I saw a spice-producing province there. Right, you know what? I think this episode is very, very long already. Let's, let's finish it. Well, I will see you next time with more content. We'll continue the war. See ya!